Now let us take another example. A body traveling a straight line travels one third of the total distance with a velocity of 4 meter per second. The remaining part was covered with a velocity of 2 meter per second for half the time and with 6 meter per second for the other half of the time. What is the mean velocity averaged over the whole time of motion? Now look at this question. Now you have to find out average velocity that you can say also average speed. So see here what is given in this question here. If you take the step here first one, take the total distance. Suppose this is A and B and total distance B x. It means total length of the path is x. Now see the first condition, a body traveling a straight line travels one third of the total distance with velocity 4 meter per second. Suppose this is the point I have taken one third x by 3 distance with a velocity of 4 meter per second. So now first you can calculate time to taken uh, time taken by the body to travel one third. So you can write here let this time be t1. So we can write t1 is equal to x upon 3 by 4 second. So that will be here x upon 12 second. So this is the time taken by the body to travel one third. Now next distance this much this is here and this one is here 2x by 3. This whole distance is traveled by the two different velocities 2 meter per second and 6 meter per second. But both are traveling for the half the time. So whatever is the time taken from here to here, suppose this half time, so suppose from here to here, whatever is the time taken, the first half we can assume t2. So let time for first half let first half time be t2. So you will be writing here 2x upon 3 this is the total distance traveled and then you can take distance traveled in the first half is 2 into t2 plus distance traveled in the second half of the time we can take 6 into t2. So, you will be getting 2x upon 3 is equal to 8 t2. So, this is the total distance you have taken and this is the total distance traveled in the total time here remaining part and now you can solve here we can get here t2 is equal to x upon this is 12 x upon 12 seconds. So now the total this remaining time, so total time for distance 2x upon 3 is twice of t2 is equal to x by 6 second. So now you have got total time and you know the total distance so we can get to average speed. So we can write here average velocity is equal to x divided by x by 12 plus x by 6. When you solve it you will be getting 72x divided by 18x 18 x this x x will get cancelled this is 4 you will be getting 4 meter per second. So you can calculate average velocity by this way but take care here first you have to understand the question each and every part of the line given in the question and then you break up the question according to the given parts and then you take all the steps properly. Do not try to directly jump to the direct formula so that you can get direct answer. In that case, you can commit mistakes. So now, we will go for the another topic that is uniform speed.